Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am having a first look at a new addition to the Mini Dazzles range from Diamond Art Club. And this one is called New Year. Diamond Art Club are well known for their large diamond paintings. Um, but they started thinking about people who either uh, work on large diamond paintings and need a little bit of a break, or people who are thinking about starting to diamond paint but don't want to work on a large canvas. So they came up with the Mini Dazzles range and these are small diamond paintings that are specifically made to be framed. Um, they are a standard size, so that is why it says frame ready. They do not come with the frame, but it should be easy to get a frame for them. So this is the box, and as you can see, Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle. Then we have Mini Dazzles, New Year, set of six, um, four inch by six inch canvas. 10.2 centimetres by 15.2 centimetres and as I said frame ready. So we have small uh, thumbnails. So we have one, two, three, four, five. This isn't one. And on the back we have the sixth one. So they are champagne, calendar, fireworks, clock, glasses and mask. So they come in this uh, nice little box, uh, Art Kit DIY, and it says includes everything you need. So we'll have uh, a look, we'll uh, take this off. So I'm just going to tear it here, it's the easiest way. And then we'll look at the front, just move that to the side. <clears throat> so Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle, huge diamond. And then on the back, we have kit includes <clears throat> four, uh, four inch by six inch canvases times six, superior quality diamonds, twist and pick applicator with putty and multiplacers, stackable tray with lid and stopper, inventory sheet with pre-cut sticker labels, and 15 resealable baggies. And then we have how it works for anybody who maybe hasn't diamond painted, three basic steps on how to diamond paint. So on the side we have the socials, we have Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and TikTok at Diamond Art Club, then the website www.diamondartclub.com Unleash your inner artist. And all I have on this side is Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. <clears throat> so we'll open it up and see what we get inside. And that isn't everything. So we have a pack with drills in it. We have some canvases. We have a piece of paper. We have a thank you envelope and we have a toolkit. So I think we'll start with the thank you envelope. <clears throat> so thank you for your purchase, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And we have a little sparkly diamond. That is actually the key. So if we fold this and then we can open the envelope. And if we open it up, we have the kit contents at the top. We have uh, the Facebook group, so we have a QR code. You can join the Diamond Art Club Facebook group. Um, we have a VIP Facebook group. Um, we have nearly 39,500 members now. So a lot of diamond painters. If you're new to diamond painting, feel free to drop in and ask any questions you might have. If you have been diamond painting for a while, drop in and meet other diamond painters from all around the world. You will see what people are working on, you will see what they finish, 
and um, just general chit chat about diamond painting. The group has gone very well, very well moderated. It's a nice friendly place to be. Um, so I would definitely recommend that you drop in and have a look. <clears throat> then we have the step-by-step -step instructions. Again, if you're new to diamond painting, basic instructions. Then the socials, which we've already looked at. And finally, we have save 20% uh, off. So we have two QR codes. We have uh, iPhone and Android. If you scan these, you can download the uh, Diamond Art Club app. And if you decide to make a purchase, you will get a 20% discount. That only applies for your very first purchase through the app, but it is definitely worth doing. And that's pretty much the envelope. Fold it back up. Fold the diamond. Put it through. And then it's locked up again. And then we have some uh, tips and tricks for your project. So that was the, the thank you envelope. <clears throat> then I think we will look at the toolkit. So this is the Diamond Art Club toolkit. And this is specifically for these kits, these smaller kits. So I'll talk about that in a second. So we have a resealable bag and I'll take the things out at the side so I can uh, talk about them individually. It's always a bit difficult to get the things out because the tray takes up a lot of room and the pen <coughs> is uh, very different from the standard uh, diamond painting pen. If you haven't tried Diamond Art Club you are probably using a pen like this. Um, it is basically a straw with a nylon tip and a brass inset. Diamond Art Club have recently done away with this and they have brought out their own pen which is very different. It looks like this. So we have uh, Diamond Art Club on the pen. The pen is thicker. If I just put them back together again. You can see the pen is thicker and it is more ergonomic. It is wasted, so we have a waist here. So we have very various thicknesses and you can hold it where it suits you best. The other thing that is different is the tip. So we have a cap on the tip. So the first thing we have to do is take that off. And this is the tip on the new pen. And again, just comparing them, they look very different. And they are... With this tip, you push it into pink wax and then use the pink wax to pick up the drills. With the new Diamond Art Club pen, there is putty inside the tip. So very quickly, the way it works is it comes preloaded, so there is putty in the pen. And if you open it up, you have a little plunger. So we'll just uh, pull this out. And the way it works is the putty is in this little section here. Then we have the plunger. So we put the plunger into the pen. Then we screw the pen on and just keep turning it until it stops. You can feel resistance and just stop. Now inside the pen, the pen is touching against that plunger. So if you hold the tip and twist the pen, it pushes putty towards the tip of the pen. So you no longer have to dip in the pink wax. All you do is when it stops picking up, you just hold the tip, turn the pen slightly, it will feed putty to the tip, and then uh, you can diamond paint. Well, eventually you will run out of putty and you uh, need to refill the pen. But I do have videos that go into more detail about the pen. I have one showing how to refill a pen. So rather than going through it just now, I'll just put a link to the videos that I've done about the pen and you can find out everything you need to know about it. So the pen comes with a multiplacer on the end. This does not feed uh, putty or anything. It's just a, a standard multiplacer. It just pulls out, pushes in. So the multiplacers are used to place more than one drill at a time. 
The pens feed, uh, the pen, don't feed, the pens pick up one drill and you place it. If you're working on an area that is all the same colour, rather than placing one drill at a time, you can place a little row. So all you do is fill this up with pink marks and um, shake your tray, get your drills lined up and then you can pick up a little row of drills. So every time you place, you're placing a few drills rather than placing one. So the idea is that it speeds things up. Um, if I check the rest. Let's go back to the bag. Okay, so... It also comes with a larger uh, multi-placer. So, oops, wrong end. So you can see this one will take uh, more drills and place more uh, at one time. And this is if you have a larger area of the same color, you can do it quicker using this. The other thing is some people may not really like the idea of using the putty and getting used to this uh, pen tip and they maybe prefer to work the way they've always done with the pink wax so they supply a spare pen tip that you can push in the end and then now you've got a standard diamond painting pen but rather than just having a plastic straw you've got a decent pen it actually feels like a pen it's shaped to make it more comfortable it's thicker so it's, for me anyway, it's definitely more comfortable than using the plastic straw. So if you don't want to use the putty and mess around with that, you can use pink wax um, as you do at the moment and, and just work as normal. So because of that, we get a heart of pink wax. So you can use that in your, uh, your pen tip or use it in your multiplacer. You could also try to use the putty um, and see how you get on with that. So you've got a choice. You can either use the pink wax or you can use the putty because they actually supply extra putty. And this is a refill for the pen. So um, again, I've got a video showing how to refill the pen. And um, so that will be in the description. You can just click on it and it will take you to that video. So two multi-placers and a spare pen tip, pink wax and putty. The other thing that we get is a tray. So this is the new Diamond Art Club tray. Um, really nice tray, nice and heavy. Um, wider than the sort of standard trays that you might get um, from other companies and um, things like this and you can see it's almost twice as wide so it takes more drills also has a nozzle and it also has a stopper so you can pour your drills in shake them you don't have to worry about the drills falling out the end and when you're ready to put them back in the bag of the container you just take the stopper off and you can pour them out so nice tray but there's more to it than that it also comes with a lid so there are two grooves, one either side, and the tray, the tray lid just slides in. Push it up, it clicks closed. So it actually locks. Um, I can hold this, shake it, nothing happens. The good thing about that is if you've got small kids, uh, inquisitive small kids, you may close this if you're working on your kit and just go to do something and the kids are in the room and they come over and they pick it up and shake it they will hear the drills rattling inside but hopefully before they figure out how to open it you will come back um, the other thing is if you have pets cats and dogs shed hair um, normally with trays if you leave them out overnight with the drills in them you'll get pet hairs in it um, with this tray you just close it up at night before you go to bed you can leave it out and when you get up in the morning and uh, you decide you're going to diamond paint, you open it up, your drills will be there and there'll be no pet hair. So really, really good idea. Um, I really like that. 
these trays are for these kits um, if you buy a full size diamond painting you will get a tray this size so they do two different size trays um, but for the mini dazzles um, you get the smaller tray because you don't have a lot of drills you don't need a big tray so they give you the smaller one and the big one has a lid as well it's exactly the same just a different size so the put the cap up there again um, the final thing is the baggies so we get a bag of bags to keep spare drills in it says 15 I, I always check them I've always done this um, just out of curiosity but it says 15 on the mini dazzles so we'll see uh, we count the bag that they came in because it's exactly the same so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so a few more than fifteen it does vary slightly and um, they aren't all exactly the same but it says fifteen in this case we got slightly over that so that is the, the chill kit that we get with this and the cap is to protect the tip because the tip is made of plastic so to protect it if you're not using it put the cap on and so that that's because at first you may think why does it have this and it doesn't screw off it pushes off and i found the easiest way to take the cap off is just put your finger behind it put your thumb against it and just push up it's the easiest way i think to take the cap off so that's it that is the toolkit so we'll put all this to the side and then uh, i think we will look at the piece of paper that's in there so this was in the kit if we turn it over it is the key or the legend so you can see little thumbnails of the six designs and um, this is the key it's pre-cut labels so you can peel them off and stick them on the containers or bags that you're using so you don't have to handwrite labels or try and draw symbols or anything like that you just peel them off and stick them on and speeds things up makes it nice and easy you also have a section here for start date and end date the only issue that I can see here is it's in black um, so if you've got a white pen you'd be able to read it um, but um, it's a good idea to keep your start and end date because people will ask how long things take um, so these don't take long but you would probably do all of these in one like one sitting and um, maybe two so that is it we have the key um, we have the numbers one to nine so nine colors in total we have the symbol so you know which color to place on the canvas and then we have the dmc code dmc code is a standard way of numbering a specific shade of a color and all of these except number one have the z in front and um, that means that they are fairy dust drills so the, the drills except number one all have a very fine glitter on the surface like a coating with the glitter in it the, the glitter doesn't come off in your fingers but it's a coating with a very very fine glitter and it makes it very very sparkly so that is the key or the legend i've always called it the key but i've seen that most people call it the legend so the next thing is just a quick look at the drills this won't take very long so they come in a little bag with a blue strip along the side just peel that and we take them out so we have a label so this one is new year calendar this one is new year champagne this one 
and then New Year clock, New Year fireworks, New Year mask, and New Year glasses. So we have a separate bag for each little picture. So it makes it easier because you might decide just to do one at a time, just one a day type thing. Um, so you just find the bag with the, the name that you want and these are the drills for your kit. So put them to the side. Have a look at the canvases. So the canvases come in uh, a sealed bag. So this is the first one. And we'll just have a look at them. So it comes like this. Um, the cover has all the print on it. So if you take it off, there's no print. So when you put it in your frame, you get the silver border. So Basically, the colours are silver, gold and black, um, which I think is a really, really good choice because they match everything. Um, they are very party-ish colours. Um, they will be very sparkly. So we have the mask, we have the champagne, we have the fireworks, we have the clock. We have well champagne glasses and then we have the champagne bottle and then we have the 31st the end of the year so as you can see they're not too big um really good for somebody who is just looking to start diamond painting and wants something that looks good but isn't too big won't take long um they are what they call partials so if i peel this back and I tilt it in the light you can see the reflection on the glue but there's no reflection on the white area so you don't have to fill the whole thing so it makes it even quicker all you have to do is place the drills on the symbols where the glue is and as I said all this print um, is actually on the cover so you don't have to worry about it uh, marking the canvas the canvas feels exactly the same as the, the large kits, very velvety on the back, very soft, really high quality canvas. And uh, that is it. So just line them up a bit. So that is it. We have six little images for New Year um, in gold and silver. You would put these in little frames and you can just put them around the room. I think they're a really good idea and I like the fact they don't have the year on them. So you could put them away and bring them out next year for the following new year. Um, definitely add a little bit of sparkle to the room and a conversation piece as well. Um, if people see them and you tell them that you made them, then uh, they, they will ask you, like how did you make them what's this called that sort of thing so you might introduce some some new people to diamond painting but I, I really like them i really like the color combination i think they are very very nice so that was new year part of the mini dazzles range from diamond dark club i think they are a really good idea um these small kits and the fact that they are a standard size so you can frame them easily really really good idea um, as i said it could be for people who are thinking about diamond painting and just want a little basic introduction how to use the pen how to use the wax how to use the potty and how to read the symbols on the canvas um, a very very good introduction and for people who already diamond paint a nice little break um, they always come themed the last one that I looked at was called Autumn. So you could put them out around autumn time and then uh, put them away, bring them out again next year. And you can do exactly the same thing with these because they don't have the year on them. And I like that. So 
you can just put them away in their little frames and bring them out um, at the end of the year next year. So yeah, really nice. I like them. I, I really like the color combination, just the, the sort of classic gold and silver. They will be very sparkly and I'm sure they will get attention. And as I said, hopefully it gets someone else interested in diamond painting. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did and you want to see more unboxings, unbagging, sneak peeks, first looks, accessories, basically anything to do with diamond painting, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live. I occasionally uh, come on while I'm working on a diamond painting. People can drop in, see what I'm working on and we can have a bit of a chat. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands. Thank you.